for putting on this event and for asking Momentum to be a part of it. It is such a pleasure. Um, today we have prepared three original pieces that were created for this event, event um, that were in one way or another inspired by Shane Pickett, his art or his work, um, or his life. And two of the pieces are being performed to original musical compositions as well that were created for this piece. Uh, they were composed by local Knoxville musicians, Jonathan Kelly and Matthew Stanley. Um, just a quick side note, uh, I think if you should make sure that all of your ringers or anything are turned off for the performance, that would be wonderful. We um, don't prohibit uh, videoing as long as it's just not flash photography. Um, but without any further ado, I would love to jump into the performances. This first piece is choreographed by Shannon Eflin, and she cannot be here with us this evening, but she did leave um, her words for me to introduce her piece. She said, after exploring the works of this amazing artist, I took to heart the aboriginal spiritual idea of country. This refers to a person's individual ecosphere, the land, waterways, climate, plants, animals, seasons, even laws, beliefs, and community, which make up your personal sphere of life. I grew up in this mountain range and it lives in my being. I chose birds, storms, streams, and, in, and instruments that are integral to the parts and being and history of this place. The movement was created in collaboration with the dancers to find a sense of what feels right and good in their own bodies. It was one big experiment on connecting the many things that make up my own country. My love of nature, my love of dance, and my desire to allow dancers to explore their own movement styles. I hope you enjoy it, and thank you for letting me be a part of this beautiful exhibit. Dancers?
by a series of three. They're against this back wall back here. Um, they are entitled The Dive of Hunting Hawk, Hunting in the Midday Heat, and Twisting Paths Hunting Ground. 
I will let the words of Shane Pigley introduce his last piece. He says, with the wheat belt coming into play and the removal of trees for cattle or sheep, it did a lot of damage to some of the grounds which I speak of, even the people, most of whom were placed into missions and taken away from families. But when a child grazes a knee from a bike, it causes damage, and a mother will try to heal it with the water, band-aid, ointment, or antiseptics. So is the mothering thing to repair what is damaged. Mother, no mother Nature is helping in those ways too. We call her Junda. Mother Nature sends a storm to heal the damage that has been done to the river and the healing grounds.
much. I, at this time, if you have any questions or comments um, about anything for myself, the dancers, Katie, the museum staff, um, yeah, we can feel free to ask. Yeah. So you had all seen all the artwork before you started putting the dances together? Well, uh, myself and the other choreographer did view the artwork quite a bit. I don't know, did, did the dancers get to see the artwork? I saw a picture of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I only saw the Trying one we were working off of. I didn't get to see everything else in the play. Yeah. So that was kind of fun getting to come in today and get everyone get to see it and dance in a space for the first time. But yes, myself and the choreographer did kind of rely heavily on on the images. Uh, how long have you all been dancing together? Well, can you be more specific? <laughs> <laughs> Directly, yeah, yeah. or um, so our company has been around for 15 years. Um, I've been in the company for eight years. I've been a in couple. for three or four, and then the rest are fairly new, like six I'm months. Not new. <laughs> a couple years. So I, for, the, for this performance, though, these pieces were only started about six weeks ago. So. Talk a little bit about the interaction between the art and the, the the pieces and the music that was new, and the dances. Like, how did that work out with the music, uh, the choreography and the music together? Yeah, absolutely. I can only speak on my experience. Shannon wasn't here, um, but my experience was kind of unique in that the person who created the music that my dance was to um, is my boyfriend. So we had a lot of like one-on-one -on -one time to really sit down and uh, look at the images together talk about what we wanted this piece to be about. So we kind of created the music and the dance kind of in tandem at the same time almost. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a really unique experience and I hope that's something that me and him can continue to do. Um, but it was a lot of like me being like, no, I don't like that. I need to change that. <laughs> um, that is not what I had envisioned. Um, but yeah, it was super awesome and especially like getting to Neither of us usually like look at images to create dances. It's usually more concept or ideas, but getting to to look at um, artwork to to um, create pieces was really really interesting. Just a suggestion: if yeah. you could videotape this and send it to Pickett's family, oh, they would, would really appreciate it. Mom, especially, would love this. That is a wonderful idea. Thankfully. Idea. We have our video yeah, team, thank you so much. Dan. <laughs> video team Dan. But that is a wonderful suggestion. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, I only wish that he, he were in the audience also. But I kind of, you know, this is me being me, but I feel like his presence and his artwork brings him here. So that's kind of my philosophy. <laughs> I'm just curious as to how did you come about the idea of being inspired by artwork. <laughs> Honestly, if you want, she reached out to us, and I thought it was a great idea, but if you kind of want to talk a little bit about what made you think of this. Sure, sure. So I'll kind of move this way so that for the camera. But um, so when I think that visual art and dance and performance are, are you know, family, right? Um, creative people speak in different languages. but the language all kind of comes around the same ideas and concepts. And seeing Mr. Pickett's work in particular, I was really struck by the sense of movement, even just from the photographs we saw, because I came up with this idea long ago before the paintings were in this space. But you know, when you look at his work and you see how much motion is in it, how could you not say, wow, why can't a I could, I'm not a dancer, but I can see this being a response for a dancer. Um, because there's so much motion just in his work. And then when he thought about his kind of concept of performance and body and healing and movement within that, it made a lot of sense to me. So I like to marry different art pieces and artworks and art types together. And you know, a musician could have responded very well to this, but I think, and obviously did because we had composers, but to me, it really spoke to dance. So. And I will say it, it oh, sorry, go ahead. Um, 
Well, I was gonna, and I mentioned it in the last performance too, this seems like a good opportunity. Um, uh, about six or, well, seven, eight years ago when I first joined Momentum, our annual performance was actually a series that we did every year called Art Moves, which was very similar to this. Um, we would, each choreographer would select a painting that was on display at the Emporium downtown and create um, a, a dance piece along with live musicians wow. also or composing to the same thing. Mm -hmm. So where momentum is not new to this type of collaboration and, and artistic kind of endeavor, um, so it's really been great to be able to kind of be back in, in that yeah. space. So. <laughs> well, and I, I found myself, uh, like she was saying, there's so much movement in the pieces. The pieces that I based my dance off um, when I look at them, I very much like see like a person's body shape, and I felt like a lot of this art kind of like I could see shapes in it. So it honestly lent itself beautifully to mm -hmm. choreographing. Yeah. Anything else? How did you find momentum? Did you already know about them? Or? Yeah, so I um, moved here from Atlanta several years ago, or about four years ago now, and I didn't really know the dance scene community here very well, but I was um, talking to one of our faculty members here on campus, Kenton Yeager, and I, um, he's, he's with our theater department, and I was like, man, I wish UT had a dance program, I really miss dance, and I'm looking for dancers for this show, and he was like, oh, my daughter <laughs> is one of the co-founders or, you know, works with this dance group, Momentum Dance Lab, and they do that. That's what they do. So, <laughs> I, so I contacted them through him. So it was a very lucky and fruitful conversation with a very wonderful um, colleague here on campus. So it's, it was really nice. And I think he did, he did tell me about those Emporium performances, which I had forgotten until you mentioned it. Because he was like, oh yeah, they do that all the time. They do, like, they're out in galleries, they're doing it. And a lot of us are UT students, so it's great to be able to perform in a space on campus. And I don't think that's an opportunity we get a lot. Was this wonderful soaring gesture that you all have in, I think, in almost all the pieces? And then it's kind of followed by a grounding, and I see that in the paintings as well. Can you talk about those gestures in, a, in your work? Yeah, I, uh, that's a great observation. We actually. Um, Shannon and I got to kind of collaborate on my piece a little bit. She came in and watched some of the um, uh, rehearsals, and there's some improv parts in my piece, and you know, she kind of was like, really um, emphasized that kind of like, come up and like coming, kind of coming back down to that grounded space. Um, and I thought, it, I, honestly, I think that that's just kind of inherently something I do as a dancer. It's, it feels really good in my body, and so I tend to choreograph that way, but she did come in and really emphasize that, um, and I'm not sure if she was taking inspiration from the pieces or just kind of from the whole energy of the event, but yeah, I thought it lent itself beautifully. Questions, thoughts, comments? They were all beautiful pieces. Thank you, thank you. All right, well, if that's everything, well, thank you guys.